Okay, so let's quickly talk about um, working with strings. And to work with strings, you identify them with quotes and double quotes in PowerShell. And the difference between quotes and double quotes is that double quotes are evaluated and single quotes are interpreted literally. So I have this example here already running where um, we have a special character inside of double quotes and you'll notice that uh, this, uh, special characters start with the backtick and um, in this case uh, backtick t inserts a tab into our string uh, and because we have it in double quotes it it knows to interpret that backtick t as a tab if we put that same code in the single quotes, you'll notice that it outputs the backtick T. Um, and that is, that is the difference between double quotes and single quotes. Um, and here is a, another example of the double quotes and the single quotes with a special character. In this example, we have the new line character, which is a uh, backtick N. And, um, we have double quotes and single quotes and you'll see that in this case the um, data after the new line character starts on a new, new line so um, that's how that works and this also works with variables as well so if you have a variable um, that has items stored in it you can display them in in your output inside double quotes um, and it interprets the variable rather than um, just outputs the variable name so you can see that in this example where in the first um, line it says we're talking about PowerShell 3 and that's my variable and um, here it does not so if I take this out of the quotes and try to run it I get an error because um, that that is not something that I can assign to a variable. It, it doesn't it doesn't see it as a, a type that it can work with. So if you put the quotes or the double quotes, it knows it's a, it's a string and it says that's fine. You can you can store that there. So that's a little quick lesson on quotes, double quotes, and a couple of special characters. Thanks for watching.